If you're looking to do a little shopping and you want to feel good while you're at it, then allow me to introduce you to Fountain House and Body here in Soho. Carmichael, I am so happy to finally be in here talking about Fountain House and Body with you, but first we need to talk about the organization. Fountain House is a clubhouse for people with mental illness. It is kind of like a voluntary day program where people can do all sorts of activities there, but primarily they come looking for help with housing and employment. And in its 75 year history, you had never had a brick and mortar store until Fountain House and Body. Yes. Tell us about this store. <laughs> so we opened in 2019. People work here for usually uh, two hour shifts for five days a week for six months. Some of those people have never worked before and some have just had trouble holding down a job because of their mental illness. We accommodate for those disabilities we learn more about people and what they need for their success. So why six months? So we have this larger program called Transitional Employment. After the six months, we determine whether that Fountain House member needs another transitional employment job or whether they're ready for a supported employment job or for independent work where we just help them with a resume and applying for regular jobs. We have to talk about the things that people can find here. Everything in here is sustainable, isn't it? As much as we can, yeah. We actually do a refill station, which is really exciting. We sell products from other social enterprises, like Iris Hantwerk from Sweden, and they work with people with visual disabilities. We also make all of our soaps here, and we've been making candles here lately. So we have a little recipe right here. Okay. Um, we're going to put 16 ounces of soy wax in here and this is my third um, transitional employment job that I've had and I'm really, really excited to just jump in and get to work. You know, mental illness, there, there's not one face. No. Right? And there's, no. you, you don't walk around with a sign saying, hi, I feel this today. I mean, you don't. You feel so many things every day. Yeah. So it's a big... Um, it's a challenge for some of us to even come into work, but with this transitional employment, the challenge sometimes is just getting here and staying here, and it's a good, it's a good challenge for me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a candle. We did it! Yeah, we did it! Yeah! <laughs> I love it! I was kind of lost until I found Found House, honestly. And when I got to Found House, I'm, I found myself there every day, just trying to create new opportunities, meet new people. I've, I don't think I've ever been more happy in my life. I can't wait to see what you do next. Maybe a manager of the store, I don't know. That what do would you be think? lovely. What do you <laughs> think? If there was one thing you would want everybody to know about Fountain House, the organization, what would it be? It's needed. It's really needed. We're trying to make those connections. We're trying to get people housed. We're trying to get people jobs. And there just isn't enough of that. Like there need to be like 20 more fountain houses in New York City to meet that need.